designed to feel alive. I built this AI automation to create Hollywood quality ads for your products in just minutes. All you need to do is send a single picture with your product plus a short caption describing what kind of video you want. And before we jump in, let me show you a few more examples and then I'll walk you through step by step how you can build this automation. Some shoes just touch the floor. These touch the sky. Leather that'll turn heads. Cushion that keeps you climbing. Own the air. The Air Jordan 1 Mid Heritage Red. Yeah, it looks really nice, yeah? And one more. Refreshingly pure, inspired by glacial freshness. Dasani Close Water Translantium Mist Reglia Alpine Surface. With all brush or of it a cart of steam from Washington. I think it's really cool, especially when you realize that it takes just a couple minutes to create this video just from one single photo. All right, let's go to the automation. So how it works? It's very easy. So first we send uh, the picture with our short caption. It looks like this. Yeah, I'm sending the picture with the caption. Uh, then we download this picture and make uh, the link to the picture shareable. And then we uh, pass it to image analyzer. So we analyze this image and we get all the information about lightning, style, camera setup, environment, uh, and etc. Yeah. Then we pass all this information to our AI agent, uh, which has a prompt to create a prompt for video creation. This agent creates uh, a nice prompt based on all the structures, yeah, uh, to get a good quality uh, video. And then we pass this prompt plus the image to our uh, HTTP request node. Uh, this is a Kai AI uh, service that creates video in Sora, yeah. Uh, and then after we send here and we uh, create a task uh, to get this video. We're just waiting until the video will be finished, okay? And here is the second uh, HTTP request node, which is get a video status. And uh, this node basically checks whether the status is success or not. If it's success, we download uh, the file, then we send it to Telegram, and then we send also our prompt that was created with our commercial video uh, creator. And if we got an error, because sometimes Sora fails uh, creating video, yeah, we send the error, that video generation error, just to retry again, okay? So now we're waiting here every uh, 30 seconds, and then we check uh, whether uh, our video is created or not. Okay, and now let me walk you through this automation step by step. And by the way, you can get this full template for free in my school community. So check out the link in the description. Okay, so the first node is the Telegram trigger. Uh, here we uh, catch uh, our picture, right, uh, with our caption. Then the second node is Kai API key and ratio. So here we put our Kai API key plus we put the ratio landscape or portrait. Okay, uh, where can we find our API key? We go to the website Kai AI and we press here Explore AI API. Okay, and then here we found uh, API key and then just copy and put it to the set node. After that, you choose portrait or landscape. If you're creating like TV commercial, yeah, you choose landscape. Then the third node is choosing the top picture. Uh, from Telegram because uh, if you see when you send a picture to Telegram it breaks it down on three or four uh, sizes of uh, pictures right so we uh, we have to choose the best quality because you can see that it's uh, width and height uh, 90 on 90 right and uh, we, we want to choose the best quality uh, picture so this code basically does it okay uh, from these four pictures, we choose the best one. Uh, after that, we just get the photo. Okay, we download uh, the photo and now we have this photo inside our NA10. Then uh, we need to get the direct link to this picture. Uh, so um, I decided just to upload this uh, picture to um, Google Drive. 
Okay, and after that, uh, I need to make this link sh shareable, okay, to share this file. Then I use this uh, node share file, I put ID and uh, the system finds uh, the, this picture by ID and we choose the role writer or you can use the role reader and type to anyone. And now we have the shareable link, but that's not enough because we need this link uh, that you can directly open it inside your browser and download it. So like this. So that's why we use uh, a set node and we um, use this expression like drive google.com export view id and we put here the id of our picture and now this link is the direct link to the picture and this link we will pass later to kai ai after that we use uh, image analyzer with open ai and i have here um, the prompt which said analyze the uploaded image and describe it in cinematic production ready terms and return back the JSON with these fields. And if you see, uh, the goal is to find what's the main subject, uh, subject position, environment, lightning, color palette, style, etc. And all this stuff, okay? Uh, and we have a guideline that return JSON only and keep phrasing professional and descriptive. And we also add the example output. After this node, we receive just JSON file like this, you see? main subject at the sunny water bottle with a uh, visible condensation yes yeah, subject position so basically we describe this image after that we pass this description a product description to um, our ai agent and plus we add video suggestion that we used in our caption it shows it's natural water sourced from a mountain gla glacier yeah uh, so we add here and we add all the description from our image analyzer. And here we have a um, system uh, message prompt that you are an AI film director and Sora 2 prompt engineer. And this one is pretty big um, prompt. I've tested a lot of prompts, you know, before uh, I can find the best prompt that works for me. I also checked the official Sora prompting guide. Yeah, you can find it and also uh, feel free yeah, uh, to check it out. Uh, I, will leave, uh, I will leave the link in the description. Uh, there are two main ways how we can create prompts. Yeah, and you can find it here. The first one is the, a short prompt. Yeah, with, uh, with a short prompt, you give more creation to Sora, but the results can be sometimes unpredictable. And the second one is ultra detailed. So when you uh, describe every scene, like every uh, second of the picture, yeah, it looks like this, it's pretty big. So I tried both of these uh, options. I also tried a few more uh, prompts, but the best one works that I use right now here. Uh, this uh, video creator give me not very big, if you can find it here, yeah not very big prompt because when i try to make it so much detailed like with every second some some scenes were not so good all right uh, and it, it's possible but you need to really like try a lot of times to describe each second of the video and some of the scenes i think most of the times will be bad that's why i use like middle uh, middle size prompt uh, ultra realistic high end and seconds tv commercial so th this one works best with my all, with all my tests then i pass this prompt plus the uh, picture link to um, http request node and uh, we have a method post yeah and the url is to create task in kai ai here we we pass our api key and basically the JSON is just the description that it's a Sora image to video model we use. Uh, we put here our prompt and it's very important to use JSON stringify function because if you just pass this prompt without stringify, probably your JSON will be broken. Okay, so uh, I recommend to use JSON stringify that uh, this uh, node will work mm, well. Okay. Uh, then no, we use image URLs uh, and we just paste the URL from here. Yes, this one is the link. And we put our aspect ratio, which is portrait or landscape from the set node and the quality HD. Okay.
And now let's see the pricing. How much will it cost yeah, to create one video? So we have three video options. The first one is Sora 2 text to video. Yeah. The second one we use uh, Sora 2 image to video. That's our choice. Uh, and it costs uh, 50 cents per one 10 second video with audio and without watermark. But you can also create the Sora Pro 2 image uh, to video. So the Pro version costs uh, much more expensive. For um, standard Pro it's uh, 45 cents per 10 second video. And for 15 seconds video it's almost 70 cents uh, per one video. And also you have the option Sora 2 Pro HD that costs one dollar per one video and two dollars per uh, one 15 seconds video. Yeah. So uh, if you want to get the best quality of your video, so try to use Sora 2 Pro HD. It creates video in uh, HD 1080p uh, quality. But in my case, I use just regular Sora 2 image to video because I used to test a lot of videos to get the best results. Okay. But now you can use Sora 2 Pro if you are using this video for social media or marketplaces. All right. So um, after we created a task for video creation, now we wait until the video will be finished. Okay. And we use wait node with 30 seconds interval. Uh, and each 30 seconds we check the video status. The status is this one, state. Okay, if you see now it's generating and our goal is to wait until the video will be in status success. And then we check the status. If the video status is success, then we download the video. And if not, we then again check every 30 seconds, uh, getting our status and again checking whether it's success or not. So basically this one is a small loop, right? And when the video has status success, then we go to this node and we get this uh, result JSON. It's not shown here right now. Yeah, but you should use this expression. You can just copy it or get this from my template. Uh, this is parse mode that gets the, the exact link from uh, this result because in the result it's usually not the direct link there are some other symbols here that we don't need to use uh, so we parse uh, our result json link and then if you see we download the video and now the video is inside na10 we'll see it a few moments later and then we basically pass this data file to our telegram bot with binary file right with uh, input binary field data and operation send video and also we send our prompt from our commercial director yeah from our AI agent so we passed chat id uh, and we passed the the text uh, with this expression uh, basically this expression just replace all these um, special characters all right to get our prompt uh, looking like this. All right. And if uh, this node gets an error, so we send the error that retry again. Yeah. Video generation error. Uh, we can choose it here in settings on error. Continue using error output. And now let's see the result of our video creation. Uh, so this is the picture and the caption and the result is here. Pure refreshment responsibly bottled. So I think it's pretty good. It takes just around four minutes to create uh, this nice video and it was made just from one single attempt. Okay. And of course you can try more attempts. If you are not satisfied with the result, you can create as many versions of these videos as you want. You just copy it or make press forward and then again and just start creating it again. And you can do three to five year creation and even much more. But from the single attempt, this video looks pretty good. So I really like it. Feel free to get this template in my free school community. I'll share more useful content in this channel and in my community. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.